Thanks for purchasing an Aqua One UFO Aquarium. You'll have either the UFO 550, the UFO 700 or the UFO 880. Let's show you step by step how to assemble your all-in-one Aqua One Aquarium. Make sure you place the aquarium on a flat level surface, strong enough to easily support its weight when filled with water and any decorative rocks. If you set the aquarium up on an uneven surface, it might crack. We recommend an Aqua One cabinet designed just for your UFO. Once you've decided on a location, unwrap the aquarium and place it in your desired position. When you remove the aquarium from the packaging, inspect it and the equipment carefully. If you see any signs of damage from transit, contact the store you purchased it from. Next, remove the lid from the filter unit and remove all of the components from the filter. Inside the filter is everything you need to set up the aquarium. Check that you have two black sponges, two wool pads, one bag of ceramic noodles, one bag of carbon, two filter grids, an intake pipe, a strainer, two spray bars, a T-junction and pipe, and a power head. Wash out the aquarium and rinse the entire contents, including the actual filter. Make sure you give the noodles a good wash to get rid of any excess dust or particles. Just remember, this is the last time that untreated tap water should touch your filter. Once you have the aquarium running, you must always rinse the filter in aquarium water only. Now connect the intake pipe to the bottom of the power head. Your power head should already be connected to the base of the filter unit. If not, slide it into position, like so. Place the ceramic noodles in the bottom of the filter unit and spread them out evenly over the grid. These noodles are your biological media, which will grow healthy bacteria to break down the waste from your fish. Next, place the bags of carbon on top of the noodles or in the second compartment. The carbon is the chemical filtration, which takes many of the dissolved pollutants out of the water, leaving the water a lot clearer. Then place the black sponge on next. And finally, the filter wool, which traps most of the solid waste. You've now set up the filtration medium. Next, connect the T-bar pipe into the power head at the top, followed by the spray bar. Make sure the holes in the spray bar are pointing down to the filter medium. The filter unit is now complete. Place your light unit on the top and feed the power cord through the filter. Then put the lid on top of the filter. This completes your Aqua One UFO Aquarium. It's now ready to decorate and fill with water. Start by placing your rinsed gravel at the base of the aquarium. Unless you're planning to grow live plants, it's recommended you keep gravel to a minimum. Gravel is a better aquarium substrate than pebbles because the large pebble size allows excess food and waste to fall through the grains and build up on the bottom of the aquarium, then it rots. Gravel is finer and allows excess food and waste to land on the surface where it can be consumed by scavenging fish, keeping your aquarium much healthier. Also available is a large range of Aqua One aquarium backgrounds, which can neaten up and enhance the of your aquarium. Now you can gently fill your aquarium with water. The water level should not be filled all the way to the top of the aquarium to ensure your aquarium doesn't overflow once you add the fish and the ornaments.
Position your thermometer and heater if required. The thermometer should always be placed at the opposite end of the tank to the heater for the most accurate readings. Next, place in any plants and ornamental decorations. Aqua One has an extensive range of creative decorations to suit any aquarium style. Aqua One also has a massive range of plastic plants and copy corals that add colour and beauty, which are a perfect refuge for your fish and create a lot of interest in your aquarium. Any synthetic ornaments and plants should be rinsed in tap water before putting in the tank. Next, put in your air stones and connect the air line to the air pump. If you can, try to place your air pump above the water level of the aquarium. If you're placing the pump below the water level of the tank, make sure to use an Aqua One check valve. If the pump is turned off and you do not have a check valve, it is possible for water to siphon back down the tube and may damage your pump, which is not covered by the guarantee. Every electrical cord should have a drip loop to stop water running down the cord from the tank into the equipment or electrical power outlet. Remember to add Aqua One water conditioner to your water to remove chlorine, heavy metals and other chemicals which will damage your filter and could harm your fish. Use the directions on the bottle to work out how much water conditioner to add to your water. With water conditioner, it's always better to overdose than to underdose. Next, plug in the heater, air pump and filter power head and switch them on. Close the lid and turn on the light. Before adding the fish, double check each item is working properly. Check the heater light is on if the water is under 25 degrees and that bubbles are coming out of the air stone. For the filtration, observe that water is being passed through the filter smoothly and it's not spraying or leaking out of the tank. Double check that the spray bar is pointing down into the filter. Your aquarium is now ready for a few small fish. However, it's safer to run your aquarium for at least three days before introducing them to your system. Oh, and if you've got a salt water set up, it may take a little longer. So it's best to ask your local Aqua One dealer or grab a copy of the DVD, Your Instructional Marine Aquarium Guide. Take a few minutes to check out the other important chapters. They'll cover maintenance and care of your new aquarium. Enjoy.